All right, so I was driving around the city in my motorcycle. I used to do, you know, and I'm going along Haight Street, and I, I got on my opera jacket, and I'm, I'm riding along, and all of a sudden there's this dude out in the front of the straight theater, and he's, he's like, he's reading poetry. He's reading Whitman to the birds and the buses, and, and I'm like, who the hell? He said he was starting this cloud house place, and I'm like, yeah, man, tell me about it. So we'd go there every week in poetry. We'd have people coming off the street. We'd have people like Michael McClure and Robert Kelly would come, and people, vagrants off the street, come in and tell their heart song, and it was the beginning of the cloud. Beginners, how they are provided for upon the earth appearing at intervals, how dear and dreadful they are to the earth, how they inure to themselves as much as to any, what a paradox appears their age, how people respond to them yet know them not, how there is something relentless in their fate all times, how all times must choose the objects of their adulation and reward, and the same inexorable price must still be paid for the same great purchase. Walt Whitman, welcome to the Cloud House. And here is the Cloud House sign. Walt Whitman breathes here has always been the legend of the Cloud House, where poetry stands up to the light. And this was at the first Cloud House in San Francisco, swinging outside the storefront, sanctuary storefront. Well, Kush uh, had his Cloud House, and uh, you know, and I'm being a wandering minstrel, I, you know, uh, was everywhere in the city, but. Uh, but Kush was for me a real a center, a real center of reality. You know, it was, if you don't know Kush, you should, because he's uh, he's a very old spirit, and he knows what happened, why it happened, and where it went. And uh, and he's uh, you know he's remained true to the spirit of the word for the for, forever. This is Gertrude Stein. This is from Diane De Prima's house at Point Reyes Station. And I think of it as a Buddha, as Gertrude Stein as Buddha. And it's a very sacred picture in the cloud. And we certainly represent the poetry that is Gertrude Stein as well as all the women that have followed and before. These people, they signify what really, really is true, was true then, is true now, and will always be true. Integrity, honesty, you know, that's what they represented, and they weren't afraid to say it. If you could show that these people lived and they were real, and that what they meant still means something. And then here is the oracle from the human being from 67, and this was on Lenore Kandel's birthday. And Lenore Kandel is one of the really great spirits that exists in the Cloud House. So there's a gathering of all tribes, Ginsburg, Gary, Snyder. Um, this is really one of the great, great breakthrough events in San Francisco's eternal dream time. And then actually, where you're sort of coming into is the central shrine. Let's just get the Vesuvios right now and we can shoot. See, my challenge is I come here and the things that I, I imagined that would be here are yet to come, yet to happen.